Hey guys, we're here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, and we're about to head into Joe and Pop's Sub Shop. We're really hungry, so we're really excited. Follow us inside and let's see what they got. Hi, Matt here. I'm Stacy, and this little guy is our buddy Tarzan. Together, we are the Rays on the Road. Yeah, like I don't know if like the size is doing it justice. And they cut it so I can't do the funny thing where I hold it up in front of my head. And somebody commented that they've got these before at Chubby's like we did, the big giant, what it, the bun is just kind of like a joke. Yeah. Like, you know, it ain't containing that. But uh, smells delicious, it's extremely hot. I can't wait to dig in, but why don't we let these cool a minute and so we'll go mine. to you got the Italian. Yeah, so I got, and look, I know to a lot of people this is going to seem very plain, but this is what I like. Where's Meat, the vegetables? Meat, cheese, dressing. I, now, if this was in a bowl, I love a salad with lettuce and stuff, but with my bread on a cold sandwich, I don't do the lettuce and the veggies on the sandwich, but I like it all chopped up together in a bowl. But I just, this white bread looks so good. Oh, it's What's like. What's that yellow stuff? I don't know. Butter, Oil and vinegar. Butter. Garlic butter. Mm. Yeah, so this is garlic butter, provolone cheese, uh, capicola ham, I think, or maybe regular ham, salami, pepperoni. I don't know, I fooled around and let her take the menu. Oh, yeah, pepperoni. And then an Italian vinaigrette, which I'll shake up and drown this bread in. Mm, looks yeah. yummy. Looks yummy. So here, I guess it's served on. And then I thought I saw a pickle. Yeah. You also get a pickle spear, which I love pickles. Yeah, I forget how much that was. Yeah, I let her get the menu. My bad, guys. Ten we'll bucks. Look it up. Ten bucks. Mm -hmm. So I've been to Subway, and you can't even get a foot long sub for yeah. ten dollars now, and you're not getting like. Ten is, slices of meat or whatever. Yeah, this is. How like, many slices? Can I touch your food? Is yeah, that by? Sure. Look, you get like one slice of cheese there. One. Two one, slices of cheese. Two slices. So I'm just counting here. Two slices of that. Three, four, five, and then six salami, seven pepperoni, part of another pepperoni. So seven slices of meat, and two slices of cheese. And yeah. for less than you're going to buy a foot log at Subway. Yeah, granted, yeah, it's not a foot log. This but, is what, you know, six, eight inches, but you're getting way more stuff and like. Yeah, and like this is plenty enough food. You're not getting Franken bread. What'd they come out a while back? Like it's Subway really bread, bread is like rubber or something. Yeah. The element they put in rubber. So I poured some of that dressing onto there kind of soak it up. And it smells like real olive oil in the dressing. Sometimes these dressings, it's like a canola oil base. It looks like real olive oil. So for all the keto people, the anti-nut oils, or yeah. what do they call them? The, yeah, the, the, the olive oil is apparently the oil you want to use. Put a little bit on this side too. Instead of canola. They, for a while they said canola, but now they're yeah, saying now they no say canola. No. Have a napkin because this is going to drip on my brand new Yellowstone t shirt, and I don't want that to happen. 
I'm not gonna put dressing on this part because we might save that. So I'm gonna try to eat this without dripping oil all over myself. Mm. That's good. Man, that ham is so good. Is it? Mm-hmm. Better Jersey Mike's. Oh yeah, this is way better than Jersey Mike's. Firehouse. Mm -hmm. Way better. Better than Subway, because Subway's your favorite. I love Subway, it's way better. Huh. Way better. Insane. I do wish that I kept the banana peppers on here though. Oh, that's why I thought it was weird that you didn't keep I panicked them when I was ordering and I just said no, but I wish it's I would have kept them. We'll be back. We uh yeah. we I'm gonna already dip it love in this some place. more of this vinegar. The vinaigrette is mostly oil. It's not a very uh, tart. It looks tart. just like olive oil, honestly, with some seasonings in it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Man, that's good. Let me give you a bite. Well, here, let me... You don't want to keep this bread, this napkin under you. I, I try to do like the lean-in method, you know, like I was doing the other day. Let me get it over the table. Okay. Oh man. So, just as expected, it is delicious. Yeah, that's so However, good. I'll say that this is not very unique. This is just a very great, well executed sandwich. Very high quality deli meat, good yes, bread. Yeah. Like top quality meats, top quality bread, top quality cheese. As I'm eating this, this is so fresh. I wish I would have kept the lettuce on. I think the lettuce. Uh, tomato, yeah. No, no tomato for me, but I think the lettuce with this vinaigrette poured over it would have been very good. Having it dressed on the sandwich. I wish I would have done that. I agree. I would have kept because I bet they have some really good fresh veggies. Yeah, I bet it's here. fresh veggies. But what I'll say is that when I feel like I'm a millionaire and I go to Kroger and I buy deli meats at the deli counter, yeah. like the boar's head and stuff, that's what this tastes like. I don't know if they're using boar's head, but it's equivalent. Okay, and also, on that level for sure. there used to be a sub shop. Oddly enough, it was called Matt's Sub Shop. And it was at Crestwood, Kentucky. I don't know. I used to go there for lunch when I worked up there. Oh, yeah. And they had boar's head meats at that. And they would cut them fresh and make sandwiches just like this. And this tastes just like it that. It does taste like boar's head sit deli meat. And so, like, not everything has to be unique. This is just like a perfectly executed sandwich. It's good. It's just good. And yeah. it's very reasonably priced. Like, this should this would cost you like twenty dollars if you oh, were to yeah. buy it. Oh uh, yeah. Buy the meat by the pound, etc. Yeah. And having this, this would if you had your dressing on the side and they wrap this up, this would keep so well. You could have, buy it with this breakfast deal. Yeah. This would still be great at lunch the way they put the dressing on the side. So this is definitely something we'll do in the future. Grab breakfast and get a picnic lunch and head out. I love places that do this here in town. Do you hear that? Yeah, there's a motorcycle starting up. No, not that. Do you hear that? What? Eat me. Eat me. Oh, is that? Oh, Something's it's a little shrimpy. calling my name. Shrimpies. <laughs> so these are like popcorn shrimp. Yeah. Do you want me to film you eating that? Popcorn shrimp, uh, toasted, uh, I don't know what kind of roll is that. It looks like it's the one on your bread. sub. Yeah. White bread. They Hobie give you the roll. option, but I'm a. a Who's fooling myself? I'm gonna eat healthy at this point. So small popcorn shrimp, remoulade sauce, uh, coleslaw, which to me, I don't think I would like this coleslaw. It's very dry. It's not like Jerry's or KFC, which I like. But let's see, let's just. Uh... All right, so he's got it. Well, I was talking about the slaw being uh, dry, dry, but I don't I think, think so. I found it. Yeah. Right, it looks like it has the same garlic bread there, or garlic butter on there. So let's do like the butt out, face over it. Ooh. I made an absolute mess. <laughs> oh no. I had a shrimp explosion. It like, shrimp power. It went out the side. <laughs> I don't know why they got the towels on the thing. Yeah, that's the handy thing here. You got all the napkins you need, and you need them. Well, 
I've ruined my three dollar Chinese shirt. In the description, I'll put a link to these shirts that Matt wears. They're so good. They wash up well, and I get them on Amazon for basically nothing. So we're not too stressed about it. All right. Um, so back to this delicious, great bread. The slaw tastes really good. Uh, shrimp tastes really good. The rimbo tastes really good. What's the rimbo like? Um, it's hard to get it all like one specific flavor. Yeah, try when that just the shrimp. It's good. I'm gonna eat a shrimp with some on it. Garlicky. Mmm, that's good shrimp too. That's I good. love popcorn shrimp. That's good, but I filmed the hot sauces a minute ago. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this up there and like douse it, load it with some spice. The Rimula does have a little bit of heat to it, but not to like my level, my insane levels. Now here's the big daddy. Like, I just like this ain't doing it justice. That. Yeah. Oh, it's got deli mayo or deli mustard, mayo, pickles, onions, shredded lettuce. I think that's it. On a pounded thin pork tenderloin. All right, so I did not eat that last one the proper method, you know, because you go like over it enough to where it don't do it. Yeah. But like, look at the cross section, man. Look how thin that pork is. That's insane. They yeah. must have a machine that does it's, it. Which is a mouth. That's good. Is it? Mm -hmm. I was curious to know, is that breading similar to the chicken breading? Mm. Let me try it just by itself. Similar but different. I it tried. the same spice to it. We got shrapnel going everywhere. You just yeah. hit me with some shrapnel. Did I? That's mm -hmm. good pork. So that'd be good with A1 on it. So delicious. I mean, like I could eat this by itself, but I've got all these hot sauces at my disposal, so I feel obligated to try them. Yeah, go grab some of those. Are you gonna take your food up there and dress it? Well, they're not very busy. I think I might get away with taking. I think a, we just bring them back choice here. Selections. So. so we'll be back once Matt grabs some hot sauces. So guys, I filmed the, they've got like a hot sauce library up there. And so my go-to was checked out, the Tabasco somebody else has. So what I got was some various, so Goya, I've never tried any of their flavors. So we have some seasoning in that brand that's very good. Right, we like it, it's a good company. So this is uh, Saucida, hot picante, or so, hot sauce, salsa picante, plenty hot jalapeno chili. So they have like a million different types of Texas Pete that I have never seen before. I love Texas Pete. I've never even knew that they made like all these different flavors. So you'll see like sauteed garlic flavor. Ooh, I want to try that and one. And then Mexican style Texas Pete. And then like I've seen this at Walmart and I've really wanted to try it. Like the Melinda brand, they have the ghost pepper. So this is going to be the last one because once I get a hold of that, that'll, that'll make me Run numb, I believe. the rest of it. Well, of course, I, I think Carolina Reaper is hotter than ghost pepper, though. I want to try some of this sauteed garlic on a shrimp. Okay. Make it happen. That's good, that's good. That will make killer wing sauce. Would it? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, we gotta try to find that stuff. That would make great buffalo sauce. It's good. Yeah, it's very good. What else are we gonna do next? Mm. This green one, it's a jalapeno. I never seen it before. They had another Goya one up there, but it's in like a similar bottle to like usually what you get. 
What struck me was the unusual shape and that it says plenty hot, but it's jalapeno, so. Well, I was wondering, because that's a Mexican brand. I don't know that their definition of plenty hot might be hotter than ours, so Should I would be. proceed with caution. I don't know, we'll find out. Which I don't even know why I bother saying that, you never do. Hot sauce love. <laughs> Bold jalapeno flavor. I wouldn't say it's plenty hot. It's hot. Yeah. Probably hotter than the usual jalapeno. Hmm. I got an idea. What? For a Matt Fact. Matt Yay! So Matt Fact, I love Texas Pete. I've been eating it a long time great uh, hot sauce. They make different things. They make like a honey mustard and stuff. But a matte fact, did you know that it's actually not made in Texas? It's actually made by the T.W. Uh, Garney Food Company out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. What a crop! Matt facts. Texas Pete is from We've North Carolina. We've been lied to. Yeah. Well, I feel betrayed. Now this one, Mexican What's Texas. Sombrero? Pete. Is that what it says on it? Sub Sabor. I don't know what that means. I've not learned that one yet in my Spanish. Duolingo hasn't gotten there yet. Duolingo has not gotten there yet. Mmm. It's like a Texas Pete taco sauce. It's good. Mm. Like it has the cumin stuff seasoning? I don't know. It tastes like a Taco Bell fire sauce. It's pretty close to what that tastes like. Huh. Now let's melt my face off. Like I'm tapatio, sure. maybe? Mm, it has no. a little bit of that flavor, don't it? It has more than that. It's like it a, a taco sauce and not a hot sauce. Mm. Okay. So ghost pepper. Nuts. It's very stick. That's good. Stays on the shrimp. Yeah. Right off the bat. Burn. Right off the bat. Hot. What about the flavor? Not bad for a, a ghost pepper of that level. Yeah, and that's hot. Is that hotter or less hot than the one that you had at Applebee's? That one. Less hot. Oh my God, that one at Applebee's like. I want to get a case of that because that's like the Just real the deal. Yeah. We should get your dad some. Yeah, so check out that video if you guys want to see Matt get burnt, slapped up, this hot sauce. And it's not one they serve at Applebee's. We brought it. Yeah. You want to drink? Do you want to drink of mine? No, I'm, I'm good. Okay. All right, well, we're going to chomp on these sandwiches for a few minutes. We'll be back. So we're here at Joe and Pop's Sub Shop or Mama's Chicken Kitchen. Um, and I saw when we sat down at the table inside, it seems like on Saturday and Sunday they have breakfast here. And so that might be a nice, you know, something off the general path, the same old, same old. And it may not have a weight because I don't, I've never heard of this. So I would say a lot of people haven't either. And I'll also say these are good prices. Chicken and waffle for 10 bucks, that's a good price. A fried chicken biscuit, five bucks, that's, that'd be a great breakfast for $5. Yeah, you can't even get one at Hardee's for that. Nowadays. Yeah, that's like Chick-fil-A prices, so. I bet it won't, if it's, we just got done eating, we're doing a two for today, it's the same place. We're gonna divide it into two, just, you know, some people interested in one may not be interested in the other. Yeah. But uh, the fried chicken is delicious. So, and check this out. Good biscuit. This is awesome. We're going to do this. You can get these items to go during breakfast. So a cold Italian, cold turkey, cold ham, cold roast beef, or kids' chicken tender. So you come in, grab the family breakfast, get lunch to go, head to the park, and you've got your picnic lunch all at one stop. And then you can be outside all day in the park and have everything you're set and they have bottled water, Gatorades, all that bottled sodas and drinks up there that you can pack with you too. I thought it was weird like why they had all that bottled stuff when they have a fountain, but I bet you that's why. Yeah, that's why. So that's cool. And so um, like the prices here are pretty reasonable for the area. The sandwich is $11. I got two. Um, 
I've eaten burgers that were twenty dollars just for one. Especially here. Yeah. In this area. And you got the Italian sub. Mm -hmm. Plain. guys we just came out of joe and pop sub shop i apologize we're gonna do the outro in the car because it's pouring the rain outside what'd you think matt i really liked it everything i had i liked um you know it's a great sandwich shop it's a good sandwich shop the good sandwiches reasonable prices great friendly staff very clean restaurant I would come back here. I may get something different. It's not that I didn't like what I got. I loved it. It's just they have so much on the menu I'd like to try. And unlike uh, the chicken side of the restaurant, Mama's Chicken House or whatever it's called, I'm definitely getting chicken there again. That's award-winning Gold Star Chicken. These sandwiches were all good, but, you know. I want to try that open-faced roast beef sandwich I saw someone order. I think that looks good. Yeah, it did look good. A lot of people were getting that. I also want to try the picnic option. One day when we're planning on heading up into the mountains for the day, we should come by, mm -hmm. grab us a chicken biscuit for breakfast, and then get a picnic lunch. You know, you can get the cold mm -hmm. sub to take with you. I definitely want to do that. That's a great value. Great idea. We'll certainly do that in the future. Um, yeah, we recommend this place. Again, the Johnson Family Restaurants, man, they don't know how to do a bad restaurant. All they do mm -hmm. is good. They're just such a good, such a, everyone we've been to is so well ran. We love them. Anything else you want to add? God bless y'all. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please like the video if you liked it. Mm -hmm. uh, hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any new and exciting content that we're coming up and pushing out throughout the week. Um, it and was comment. A suggestion, yeah. Comment if you have a suggestion or if you have somewhere that we need to go try that you like or you know, just let us know what's on your mind. Yep. Thank you guys. We love you. We'll see you real soon. Bye.